Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about one more interesting Spark related interview question that how are you going to handle null type of data? So whenever we get the files from the client, which is our source file, there is a chances that in that source file, we can have some null type of data. Now, what is null type of data? Null type of data means a data which does not have any value. Now, obviously, you know, uh, there are multiple other ways are there through which, you know, you can handle this null type of data. One way is you can drop the data which is having null record. So you need to discuss with your client and if client is okay, like we can drop the null type of data, the record which is having null value, we can drop it. That is one way. Second way is you can replace that null value with another value. Let's say you are going to replace null value with your zero or one. So it is your decision like how are you going to and which way approach you want to take to handle this null type of data. So I'm going to show you this practically how to handle the null type of data into the Spark. So we are going to use the PySpark here. And again, if you are looking for Hadoop Spark training, you can reach out to me. So let's go to my screen and see it practically. So here you can see that I have created a Spark application, which is basically reading one null data.csv file. I'm already having one null data.csv. This is a file which I'm going to read it with the help of my Spark data frame. If you see this file, you can see that there are sometimes you can see the null type of data here you can see. So here you have ID is their name, first name, last name, email ID. And after that, there is a double pipe is there. It means there is no data in between this pipe. This is a pipe separated file, which should have some data. So here you can see we have uh, some data is available for the next row. But here we don't have data. Now what will happen if I try to read this file by using my PySpark application. So you will find that it will have null type of data. Let me try to run this file. So first of all, let me copy a path of it and I'm going to run it. Edit configuration. Okay. Apply and okay. So this application null data dot py file i'm going to run it so basically i have a csv file which is having some null type of data and that data i'm trying to read it now so if you see here the data which is having no value it is representing it as null null means it's not a blank okay it is null null means there is no value now what we need to do as a spark developer sometimes we need to filter out the data which is having null value so i can see the null value is available in my gender column so what you can do you can use a filter condition so your input data frame dot filter and here you can say that gender is not null so it is going to return you one more data frame. Let me give the data frame name as filter df. So what you can see that in the filter df, if I try to print it, it will not have any null type of data. So all the records which is having null value is going to filter out and we got the result into the filter df. Let me try to run this application. And if I see this, I don't see any record with the null, right? So this is a one approach. Okay. Let me show you the count also before filter. What was the count and after filter? What is the count? Let me print it. So read CSV dot count. This is the count before filter before filter null data okay and it should be like this and this is the print which i'm showing you print filter 
df count after filter operation so if i show you what is my count after the filter you'll find the filter difference okay now let me close it okay looks good so this will give me the before count and this will give me the after count after the filter operation okay so if i run it let's see what was the count before filter and what is the count after null filter so obviously the filter record should be removed okay uh, it is showing it as none oh my bad because i did not use i should use the count unfortunately i use show that's my mistake okay let me run it one more time when i'm running it so let's see okay here you can see earlier count was with the null data 1011 but when we filter out we got 874 so around 200 record has been filtered out okay this is one way to handle the null type of data second thing what you can do you can replace your null data with the specific value let's say wherever null is there wherever null is there I want to replace this null with zero okay so let me do that okay so it read csv dot show this is there let me comment this before filter data yes we need this data after filter I'll comment this and I'll just write down the next code so I'll just add a comment it's a good practice saying like handle null data with handle null data with replacing value okay so how to do that my data frame read csv dot with column okay now so let me create uh, so we have a column called gender okay we have a column called gender okay here I am going to write down the condition when what is the condition call whenever gender column is null then replace it with zero okay that's what I am going to do otherwise keep the same value let me do let me add otherwise also dot otherwise call gender whatever value of that gender is there nah? just keep that that's it we can use a uh, when and otherwise okay let me put it into the same data frame equals to all right and let me do the read csv dot show let me see the records i just ran it we are not filtering out the data here okay we are just replacing the null with zero okay so here you can see this record was null earlier now i replace that with zero you can also replace it with the blank if you want or you can do whatever you need okay there are multiple op approaches are there but at the end we are going to use the same approach okay i hope this is clear if you are looking for hadoop spark training you can reach out to me i'm going to start my new hadoop spark training from the next week bye bye see you again with the next video please do like subscribe and share this channel and also don't forget to ask your question in the comment section bye bye